So this sub-series, the 2020 version 7.7, today is the first part, which will go through six of our new features. The next part will be April 30th, and we'll cover three more features, including the GDNT measurements and X-plane floating. And then the third part in May, we'll cover the new updates to our add-on modules, including AAO with a sequence optimizer, some new enhancements to our FEA compliant modeler, and a sneak peek at our datum optimization that we have in process. Today's presenter is our very own Gary Bell, our Senior Variation Analyst and ASME Certified GDNT Specialist. Most of you should be familiar with Gary Bell as he does a majority of our pre-sales activities as well as a lot of our demonstrations and training. So Gary Bell is very active in DCS and has been for many years. Today's agenda, as I mentioned, will be the first six items and main features of 7.7. We'll be going through them one at a time to show you how they work and talk a little bit about um, what benefits and value you get from them. We have some time set aside today at the end for a Q&A session. Please hang around and any questions that we don't get to via chat will be covered in the Q&A as well as any questions that may be useful to the group. At this time, I'm going to be passing the presentation over to Gary Bell. Okay, so hello everybody. I'm going to take you through all these enhancements, but before I do that, I'm going to uh, bring you up to speed with the model that I'm going to use to take you through those enhancements. Some of you, I'm sure, have seen this mouse model. If I, if I build this mouse model and I zoom in, Hit deviate. Okay, so you can see this this model's got part tolerances, it's got assembly moves, and it's got measurements. <clears throat> the uh, focus for these uh, new features, I'm going to be spending most of my time just on the top cover, and you can see the top cover has got uh, it's got embedded GDT on it, and you can see the extracted GDT here as I click through, um, and it's highlighting the features. And we're going to also be focusing that you can see this model's got 11 measurements in it. If I build it and I click through, okay, we're measuring the gap all the way down that edge. We're measuring flush on the top and the bottom. So, so you know, a typical model, it's a small model, but it's got eight moves, six moves. <clears throat> it's got 11 measurements, and the parts have got GD and T on it. So we're going to focus on measurement number one, but I wanted you to kind of get a feel for what was all in this model. So the first thing we're going to focus on is table view. So we've enhanced the software. Um, typically, when you run your simulation, first thing you get is you get a histogram view of the first measurement in your list. <clears throat> well, that you know that kind of is a little difficult for you if you want to jump right to measurement number six. And so you can see with this table view, what we're doing now is we're giving you all of your data first in a table view. And we've added, you know, this bar chart. So you can kind of at a glance after you run your simulation, you can see, oh, well, this one's got the most out of spec. Maybe I should just jump right to that measure. But you can get um, your estimated ranges and all the statistics at a glance. And you'll see when I jump from, you know, one measurement to the other, the contributor analysis, which I will be addressing, will change automatically. So if I go back to the model, and we saw that we have these 11 measurements, is it updating okay over there, Ben? Yeah, it looks good, Gary. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and run a simulation, and uh, I will be addressing this in, in a minute as well, but we've had some modifications to this dialog box, but first I'm just going to go ahead and run 10,000 simulations, and I'm going to activate the contributor analysis. So when I run this, you can see the first thing that happens I'm going to go ahead and separate this model. 
the first thing that happens is you get this chart here. Now you can see all 11 measurements. <clears throat> and as I click through, you can see down here how my sensitivity analysis or my contributor analysis, which is what we call it now, is changing. And then, you know, if you want to dig deeper or see this traditionally, you can double click it and then you get your results as you are used to always seeing it. And you'll notice, you'll notice, you know, it works the same when I click on this measurement. It's highlighting the features over here and I can click through, I can click through the contributors and it highlights them there here. So, you know, the power here is you get a global view of all of your measurements and you can, let me go ahead and build it. You know, you can click on whichever measurement you want and then you can say, show max, show min, and you can see that it will rebuild. Um, I'm gonna come back to this and talk about visualize effect. But one of the things that I do wanna talk about is in my list of contributors, you can see we have this pull down per feature or per tolerance. So what we're starting to do is we're, you know, we are starting to add some functions that are in our um, AAO uh, analysts and we're combining them right into the standard output. So if I look at, if I look at this measurement here and I say per feature, you can see that it's listing this profile tolerance, profile three, it's actually applied to multiple surfaces and you can see that those two surfaces are contributing 11.24%. But it, you know, if I have a large thing and I have one tolerance on multiple faces and that they're all showing up in my list, I can change this to per tolerance and then it will combine it. And now you can see that position tolerance <clears throat> profile three is right here and it's 22.48%. So that's, you know, that's the, our table view gives us a quick snapshot and lets us, you know, guide through what tolerance it, or what measurement is it that we want to look at first. All right, Gary, we ha we're having a little bit of lag in your screen. So that just means um, you just slow down, slow down your, your mouse actions. Right. Okay. So, um,